Part 3 of 5 for the first game. Yeah, and mm. this time our treasure is... The treasure's chased away. Ooh. It's no, an otter! No, no it's I haven't got it in the deck yet. Okay. Have you not? I, was gonna show, I like showing you what the treasure is before, you know, put it in the deck. So this one's worth nine. Ooh. Ooh. So Big prizes. goes, and shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Mm. Who wants to do the deck drawing this time? I can do that this time. There you go. All right. First card, and it is oh, seven, seven one gems. Each. One each, two left over. So, anybody who would like to flee with one, maybe three gems, flip yeah. your card in three, two, one. No, it's a little no, too no, much. No. No. Mm. I need to catch yeah. up. I'm like half on everyone else, pretty much. Yeah, you are. Jeez. Need mm -hmm. at least, you need to risk it. need at least five before I can <laughs> Next card in three, two, one. Ooh. It's snake. Is that? Well, oh, it was floating. Oh, it was floating on the on the mint. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, anyone who would like to flee may do so in three, 
two, one. Kobig, no balls. No, still no, not this time. Next, deeper next, we go. Next one. And any more stakes, and we're doomed. In three, two, one. Oh, oh. Fire. fire pit. Hot, 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 hot. Feeling yeah. hot. There's still mm. not much to run away with, though. No. I'm saying, no. yeah, I don't care if I lose the one piece I've got at this point. Three, <laughs> two, one. No, we're all no. staying. Okay, next one. In three, two, one. Hey, rocks for oh. making this worse, Ian. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, this is a temple. I have played Lama Lana. That's in a temple. I think it's somewhat fitting. It's, yeah. Still nothing really to... Mm. You're hurting yeah. us. Get I mean, ready. if someone wants three, go for it. <laughs> Get ready and... to flee in three, two, one. Oh! Fine, I get one each. You get uh, mm. I am going to consolidate just to try and catch up because that technically puts me in second place. Uh, yeah, I, need to, I, me. I need to risk it. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, well, no you uh, haven't banked that yet. Oh no! No! Oh, oh no! Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, th I thought I had fourteen. No, I have thirteen. Oh, you're looking you, at almost got so. fourteen. So yes. <laughs> Next oh. one. Oh, wait, I'm gonna move yeah, these out yeah, of the way. Snake! 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 Yeah. Snake! Yeah. In three, two, one. You snake! Phil, uh, you asshole! <laughs> I lose one. <laughs> I lose one. Yeah, I can't say that was much of a. <laughs> uh, I can't I'm, all be winners. Cool, I'm going to look at the next card just out of curiosity's sake. What was no. it? No. Oh, 11. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That would have been nice to have. but Well, it doesn't eh. matter. It's not like you flee. You couldn't have done anything about it. That hurts. No. Now, yeah, I think the rules state that you're supposed to... Well, uh, oh, You're supposed to take oh, the treasure it? out. But I'm going to say, why take it out? Why not leave it in for uh, future generations? Well, to, the fourth uh, or the fifth. Fun? Run. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah. So. So now no one wants me to deal the cards again. Is basically what we've yes. discovered. Maybe yeah. someone else shuffled them other than me. But next, in goes the golden goblet with a little. What's on Guy. the side? It's, it's, it's a funny. sink. It's a sink with a with a built-in <laughs> tap. I don't know. It's like a, it could be a giant toilet as well. Could be a <laughs> big ass mm. cup. Right, someone uh, else shuffle. I'll shuffle. Okay, well, it's, it, well, it's down. I think dealing is down to myself and Vija. Do you want to take the honors for this round? Uh, it will not because of how laggy I seem to be on this. Okay, I will. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I will shuffle. You and... should be excused from dealing duty. Thank you. Oh, hang on. I need to bring me and fill me oh, up for part yeah, of the round again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please be well, nice. At least, there's only, at least there's only two snakes left in the deck. Two uh, snakes true. and two mummies at this point. Yeah. So. All right. Well, yeah. our first card. Shall we see? Oh, 11. Money. 11. Start off with a two, two and a one left over. Uh, so, right. would anybody like to flee then? In three, two, one. No? Uh, no. You must be kidding. Right then. Next card in the pile. In three, two, one. Ooh, oh, spiders. spiders. Spiders are here. So, dangers are now abound. So anyone who is arachnophobic, leave in fear in three, two, one. No? No, nothing yet. Everyone's still in. And well, if you want to back out, it's too late now. Because we travel through the tunnels and into the next room and we find a, a mummy. mummy. Oh. I feel somewhat fine with that because there's only going to be yeah, one more left in a pile of 27. Lower risk. I love this. I love this. This lower risk. You know what I mean? Yeah, you've jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> You know what happened last time? Yeah, I did call yeah, that yeah. snake. <laughs> he started chanting snake in one game fucking house. Well, if you're now afraid of mummies, flee in three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. We, we have found Vija's so, fear. He calls it at mummies. He's afraid of his mummy. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. Next card. Well, see what else is on the table in three, three. two, one. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. What is with here? all the gar bad cards coming at the top? It's very toasty at the moment. So uh... yeah. I mean, they are randomly shuffled. And it, is, a, it I... is effectively a 50-50 chance of getting... I shuffled it, John shuffled it. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> well, 
Well, if you'd like to flee from fire, which, let's be fair, is a reasonable fear. Um, Honestly, <laughs> three back-to-back t- terrors, you're more than welcome to leave. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. But no one is. Oh, no, no, I, I no. need the points. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, another one down the then. The adventure continues. Yeah. And in this room, we encounter <gasps> five. So oh. that's one. A one piece. each and one spare. There you go. I sorted it. I was, hoping, I was hoping for something a little more, a little, a little more tasty yeah. in price. Yeah. Yeah. Take what you can get. <sighs> well, I guess uh, to ask the next question to ask is: Is anyone backing out? Three, two, one. No, no. 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 We want more than three. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is going to oh. be this is going to be tense. Uh, I'm not liking and, it. And it is. <laughs> Has Vija made the right call? The answer is yes. yes! <laughs> Spiders. Spiders. Spooders. The odds. So what, what were the odds? Mostly bad cards. There, four to two, in a in a, in a fifty-fifty chance deck. Yeah. Oh, for, for those of us for those of us keeping score, Shadow Fox has eighteen. Uh, followed by myself, Vijo, with 16. Uh, then we have Earth Art with 14. The Random Genius with 13. And Stone Dead Last, Mr. Venato, with 6. Well, Rab- out, in the actual game, it's supposed to be secret. Really? No. Uh, everyone has little tents they put their gems under. Ah. The only things that aren't secret are the artifacts. The artifacts you have to keep face up. Although, if you're keeping count, you could probably figure it out anyway. Yeah. True. But, uh, yeah. yes. Well, okay, another two cool. rounds down. Who wants to go next? I didn't want to jinx the sort of snakes goes next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So, the million dollar question is what have I been up to since the last one? Uh, unfortunately, I have been actually rather busy because we filmed the yes. last one in November, didn't Mid November, yeah. Mid November. I was in the process of moving house then. I am still yes. unpacking. <laughs> and sorting things out <laughs> so whilst i have taken a few bits of time here and there to relax and play video games um i've not taken a great deal of time uh, but i have been playing the remake of the original yakuza uh i think john did you gift that to me for christmas 
The Yakuza Kiwami. Did I give you that? I tried to give you zero. I gave you one of them. Yeah. So someone gave me the uh, the next one, or well, maybe I bought it myself. I can't remember. I'm losing <laughs> my mind. But um, no, I'm enjoying that. It's it's like Yakuza Zero, but kind of almost a step back a bit. In the sense, because you've got, I've gone in and I've played Yakuza Zero, which obviously came out last in terms of the Yakuza games as a prequel. Did six it come out before it, or did six come six, out after? Six came out uh, after it. All right, okay. Well, it was, it's one, it, was, it, it was one of the later ones and it's, came out yeah, as a prequel. I think, it's, I think it's five zero six Dragon. Mm. Mm. But uh, because of that, it's got a lot of features in Zero that aren't in the re-release of the uh, the original. It's not to say I'm not enjoying it. Um, specifically, I think they threw in a lot of extra references to that Zero game in uh in re-releasing it uh and yeah it's just a good game just a little annoyed that there's slightly less features built into it so uh there's not the um building up your poor poor um, property portfolio element as far as i'm aware it's pretty much a direct up pretty much upgrade of how the original game was so it kind of Mm. has those features though it did add a couple of extra systems oh. but yeah it, but, it's I, I, I certainly I see playing this it was worthy of what six or seven sequels although it is sad that uh, Kiwami does lack the one thing that the original game had which was Mark Hamill as um, as Majima really? yeah, yeah. the yeah, original they... western release of uh, the first game had Mark Hamill as Majima. All right. But they now did, they I, I, I think. Them, do they? I think for the first was it the first game and the second game they had they hired a H- English voice cast to voice over before they kind of just gave up and went subtitles. Subtitles. Just, yeah. Just keep it subtitles. Yeah. No. I. I. I'll be honest. I don't mind the subtitles. It keeps my attention on the screen. It's like hmm. right. What are they saying now? All right. Read the small text. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the localization team has done a great job on those games to make it. Mm. work fun mm. well oh yeah I, I, I can't fault it um it's just good fun it reminds it reminds me a lot of saints row but a little more yeah, serious only slightly more serious oh, it's yeah like wacky moments are you doing side missions or main story there is a huge diversion in serious oh, oh yeah. I, 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 I am i am side missioning <laughs> The whole thing. It's like, yeah. oh, side mission, I'm going to spend 20 minutes doing this and ignoring the entirety of the main plot. I, I spent so long on the slot car minigame. So long. I've, I've, not, I've, not, I've not got my slot car sorted out yet. Shock! I know. I never figured it out in uh, Yakuza 0, and I, wa- I want to figure it out for this one. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I, I, I've, I've acquired a lot of bits. I think mm. I've acquired a lot of good bits because I'm going around and I'm finding all the pieces that you then unlock the lock, the keys to unlock the lockers, and then mm. you take all the good bits out of the lockers. But I don't have a base frame yet, so I need to figure that out. Uh, other than that, um, this year I decided to declare a new resolution to myself. I am going to, every, I'm going to start trying to fill in the gaps in my Sonic video game collection. Oh dear. Yes, uh, I, I, I'm coming to a realisation this was a very expensive idea. I uh, gather, yes. Yeah, uh, let's not talk about Knuckles Chaotix right now. Oh, I saw that <laughs> once for 300. You I mentioned that. Yeah. I, I mentioned might be able that, to help yeah. you with some, some of those, maybe. Mm. Knuckles Chaotix I cannot help you with. No. You're on your own. <laughs> yeah, I think I might be searching for a while for that one. Um, but yeah, I, I had a few promising leads initially, but I went, I went for something easy. So everyone remembers that uh, flop of an attempt at relaunching Sonic the Hedgehog from about seven years ago now. Sonic Boom. Yes. Oh, the, yeah. yeah. It, 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 to be fair, it was a funny TV show. Yeah, the, the yes. cartoon was good. Yeah. That- was that what the game was seven years ago? I'm not, it's, we uh, we think that the first, way. The first one might have been. Uh, uh, yeah. 
the uh, the second one was it Fire and Ice the yeah, yeah, yeah. BDS yes. that was playable at uh, SOS. So was that was twenty sixteen al- alongside Mania. That's nearly guess six years ago. Had, guess, guess which one had the longest queue? Yeah, what was yeah. it? Rise oh, of Lyric. Nice, the, Rise of Lyric, the subtitle of the first one. Yeah, yes, right. Uh, uh, Rise of Lyric was for the was for the Wii U game, and then there was Shattered Crystal for the 3DS, and then there was a second one which was uh, Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice. Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric has an 80% like this video game, the 4.5. Uh, yeah, and it came out in November 2014. Mm. Oh, jeez. It's almost a decade old. It's nearly... Yeah. It's yeah. seven and a half years old at this point, nearly. Yeah, but... Uh, ain't, well, I mean, I never bought the games, any of the Boom games, but... Uh, <laughs> It and the the Wii one, U one you can find. Um, we there aren't many Wii U games knocking about, but you can find it. I mean, I found it once, but I didn't want to get a good collection, um, and the case wasn't decent. Hmm. Uh, but I have managed on eBay scalping around or scurrying around. Uh, I got the 3DS Shattered Crystal. Uh, so I've been playing that a little bit uh, in and out of hotel rooms and uh, everything with what with work at the moment, portable on the go. Um, and yeah, it's actually a fairly solid game. And I mean, there's a lot of backtracking. There is a I, lot the thing I heard about the 3DS ones is they weren't they were playable games. They weren't amazing. <laughs> no, Fire, I mean, uh, Fire they, they were slightly... they were functional. Mm. Yeah. They, they are functional. I, initially, it I, it came with a game save already on it, and they'd only ever done two percent. I played one level, and I'd already done two percent, and it's like, wow, someone was very disappointed with this game. I mean, it um, came out around Christmas, so probably a disappointed yeah. kid. Yeah. Well, well, who knows? It might have been passed around a few times. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm playing through it. Uh, there is a good chunk of backtracking. Um, because well, I mean, I'm still in the process of unlocking characters, and in each level, there are different. You swap between characters to access different parts of the level to gain different tokens. Because you got to collect all sorts of different things. You got to collect schematics to upgrade uh, to upgrade your uh, maps feature or other elements. You've got to collect shattered pieces of crystal and. Um, um, to complete the game, I'm assuming. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, yeah. So I've just thought of this. So mm. apologies if this ruins everything. But Go from the it. sounds, from the sounds of it, it sounds like it's Sonic's, Sonic's attempt to trying to make Donkey Kong 64. I mean, having never played 64, Donkey Kong 64, I can't speak to that. I don't know. Uh, basically, can. you swap characters in order to get to different areas of the game. You can only collect items with certain characters. It's the schematics you have to pick up. Yeah. Oh, uh, banana. I've yet to run into bananas, but uh, <laughs> Sticks has only just turned up in the game. <laughs> I want to play Donkey Kong 64 now. You're welcome. Mm. I have it on the Wii U, so I can I, play it. I do as well. I really need to actually get through it. I'm, I'm stuck on one of the bosses, but that's beside the point. I'll, I'll help you on that later. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I know. I mean, it, it's an okay game. I mean, I, I'm playing it out more out of fascination than anything else. Um, I mean, I'll probably pick up the Wii U version at some stage, but it's probably just, I don't own a Wii U, so it's going to sit in the box and say, yeah, that's a tick box. Uh, and I'll... Fire and Ice is surprisingly more difficult to get a hold of, or at least it's more expensive. It uh, have a big run, I believe. Yeah... Um, so it is that one's a little more difficult to get a hold of mm. in the sense that it runs for more money uh, but it's just this is just dipping my toe in and kind of thing because at this stage it's just that one little blip that I kind of missed with Sonic games you know what the uh, one thing I wish I'd kept well, so mm-hmm. I have I have three Sega PC games which are mm-hmm. Sonic and Knuckles collection yeah Sonic CD. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, I have four. No, three, yeah. And Sonic R. Mm-hmm. No, oh, and yeah. I have Sonic, C- Sonic CD, now, are Sonic the, are R, the... Sonic 3D, and Sonic and Knuckles collection. Yeah, four. Are, the, are, are those ones the ori- original releases, or are they the ex- 
explosive reprint ones. They are the original releases. Oh. And I no longer have the boxes. I just have them in a CD wallet. These are the PC, yeah? Yeah, PC. The you thing is, always... the Sonic 3 and Knuckles comes with the Sonic screensaver, which was actually quite good in that day and age. But it included the full soundtrack to Sonic CD. Oh, wow. Nice. Ooh, nice. You know what you nice. could do to complete that collection? Find Riders and Heroes for the PC. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot they were on PC. But yeah, this, I, I mean, these got released those a lot somewhere. Early. Yeah, but yeah, so uh, I wish I'd kept the full big boxes, but I was a kid back then. I didn't know. Mm. Didn't know the value. I, of I, to be to be fair, who did? And yeah, that's no. why they're valuable now because exactly. nobody collected those. Well, if you want to collect any uh, of the 3ds and Wii U games, you've got a year to do it. No, only digital. Only digital. Only digital. Mm. But if you want Physical digital versions, versions, you can't stop from existing. Yeah. That's, uh... Unless you're too human. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a story for another time. I think we've covered yeah. it in previous LMC casts, to be honest, oh. when we mentioned we, we, uh, Eternal Darkness. It will be interesting when uh, the Switch uh, when the Switch shuts down its store, because uh, there are some games that are just sold in stores as physical download codes. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, are, some, are, they, are, they, are, they actual, are those actual code for games though, or are they codes for credits or like the No, the, 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 the codes for the game, and all oh. you do is you get an empty box with a piece of paper in. Wow. Which is garbage. It was like yeah. all my oh, Skyrim no. when I bought it in twenty twelve. It was like it's, here's it's here's the case the here's the case, here's the code. Mm. I, remember, I, I, I remember getting a lot of those back in the 360 era as well. Yeah. I, um, the most one of the recent ones I've got a few for the Switch, but I also got one for PC, which was Doom Eternal, which was their collector's edition. Oof. But it come it oh. literally came in, comes in a steel. It came, you got two copies of the game. You got the steel hmm. tin book, which was empty, and then you got the plastic box, which then has a, a cardboard disc inside with the code on the underneath. So you get the cases, so you get two cases, but no game. Yes. Oh, oh. The, the, the game preservationist in me is crying at that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, you, if you remember back to, I don't know if any of you guys picked up the Sonic Mania Special Edition when it came out, you know, yes, the one with the statue and everything. Yeah. That was just a download code. No, but at least they gave that to you on like a nice piece of um, metal card. Oh like yeah, it, it was a nice card. metal card. You got and you uh, got something else with it as well. I mean, oh, you got, you bought that for the statue. You didn't. Buy yeah, it I bought it for the statue, and well, I mean, I've because I'm unpacking it now, and it's like it's been sat in the box for a number of years. So I got that out, and it's like, oh wait, I completely forgot they actually gave you a Mega Drive cart which has a gold ring in it, and it's like, well, that's actually getting out and being displayed. That's pretty mm. cool. Yeah, because to be fair, like I've seen other, like a lot of PC collector's editions are like, well, you can have the PlayStation and the Xbox collector's editions, which come with a disc and a metal case. And so, like, well, mm. what do we do with the PC version? It just comes with Steam code. So, like, do we still get the metal case? Oh, why would nah. you? And some some of them do. Some of them is like, yeah, you do, but you will just send you a code. We'll just email you the code, or it'll be in a slip of paper inside. We have seen like collector's editions that are like, here's a statue of this and that and a steel case, but you like don't actually get the game anywhere mm. in it. Well, yeah. But, yeah. But, but, what, but it means, but it means you can. So it's like it's more of like a collector's side upgrade. So you buy the game and then you get the nice stuff on the side. Yeah, Which, here, here's a memento of buying this game. I really hope you like this game because now you've got a statue from it. Mm. So to be fair, <laughs> like. Um, the reason that a lot of them now give you the steelbook separate, because I had the same thing with um, med the medieval remake. They send you the game, and then they send you in a normal box, and then they send you the steel case separately. And it's like, why not just put the game in the steel disc? But the reason they don't do it is because it's just a bonus thing that they get from a stock, and they'd have to manually do the disc, and then they're breaking the seals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, so yeah, it's just this. they're doing a single print run and then giving you these things as a bonus. I I know I think that was what happened. It was back when uh was it Bungie released one of the uh, one of their original games and it had a bug on the disc that basically uninstalled your entire system. They had to reopen and repackage every Ooh, single. I do recall that story from years ago. Mm. I imagine it would be the same situation here where like you have to reopen them and repackage them. And it's like you know what? Let's just not bother. Let's keep yeah. let's keep the case. <laughs> here's here's a yeah. plastic case with a piece of paper around it, and then here's a nice case. You can move it into 
if you fancy. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I could see the PC versions for any collector's edition not coming with a disc because it would have to be Blu ray, a disc, to start off with to even hold the game. And yeah, most, compu- so. most modern computers nowadays don't have a uh, disk drive. Correct. And it's bloody infuriating. I just had a quick look down. I was like, oh yeah, mine doesn't. I should probably buy one. Yeah, I, I purposely went out my way to install a, a disk drive onto my PC when I, uh, when I bought it because not only is it just good for to just have one in general, but yeah, some games just need you need, you need it mm. on and it's nice to you know, if you've got soundtracks and albums and such. Or, you know, you know mu- musicians who send you their music on discs because it's yeah. like, mm. this is the more expensive version. I mean, in, a, in that case, just get yourself like an external Blu-ray drive. I mean, yeah. connect so here, here's, a, here's a thought for PCs. Get a get the game on a um, on a locked USB stick that's themed. That's quite a good actually. Um, I, I can't... <laughs> Um, I've on games like that before. I, I think that a few have, have done that. I know that not the game itself, but I know that they that um, Fire Emblem Three Houses puts the soundtrack on a USB stick mm. rather than a disc. Uh, I wouldn't know because I didn't get the collector's edition. Um, but... so I will say Final Fantasy did a really interesting thing with their soundtrack. So their soundtrack is on Blu-ray because it's technically a five CD collection. Oof. But what they do is, if you have a drive on your PC, great. Stick it in your PC, you can just copy the... They have separate files on there to just copy it as MP, MP3s. But if you've got a PlayStation, you can put the disc in your PlayStation and it has the option to then use your PlayStation as a Wi-Fi hub to then connect your PC and download it that way. Ooh, that's fancy. And it, Very fancy. It works really well. And it's just like... That's a really clever way of doing it. It's just like... Why the fuck has know, no one else done it? I mean, to be fair, it makes a little bit more sense with Final Fantasy XIV being a MMO available on the PlayStation. But it's just a really clever way of going, hey, here's a 120-track um, album that isn't going to fit on a single CD, so we'll put it on a Blu-ray. But obviously you can't rip that on your standard PC drive. So instead, since we assume most people have a playstation do it that way hmm i think what i need though is, is a installable record or vinyl player on my pc now I, I swear more game companies are releasing vinyls than they are cds oh god yeah yeah it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's trendy now it is it's the hit thing to do i, I got i got ki- i got kickstarter rewards from something i backed about two and a half odd years ago come through the other day and i was like what is this oh what book oh, oh, oh vinyl record Okay, cool. How do I? What? That's the point. I have, a CD, no. I have a CD coming through for a Kickstarter project I backed, which um, I can't remember if you played Friday Night Funkin' or not, Shadow Fox. I did. I did, yes. Uh, yes. I'll have that soundtrack coming through at some point. Oh, that's all right. CD. Is that up but to it, week seven, or is that like OG? No, it'll be, it'll be whatever they finish full soundtrack, I believe. Oh, okay. Anyway, we've sidetracked very far off Vegas point now. That's yes. Yeah. It pads out the content. Uh, th- th- I try, I try. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Sorry, to episode it's... three of LMC Cast for this gaming session. Do you joke about that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what, are we going to make this a five it'll, episode? It'll, 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 it might it'll, end up being that way. It'll fit music in to make it five episodes. It'll fit, it'll fit music mm. in to make it six episodes. As, l- as long as I make mm. it under an hour on each one, it'll be fine. But I was oh. just going to put the entirety of the 14 soundtrack in between I do. here. Mm. In the background, maybe. The entirety of the Final Fantasy 14 soundtrack. You realise that's like 500 tracks. That's fine. That's yeah, good. but some of them will be short, right? No. <laughs> some of them will just be level up music, right? <laughs> okay, that's quite short. Right? And, and then some of them are stuff like Locus from Alex, oh, which is eight plus minutes. Is it is it like partially like just background effects as well? Just no. Or is it an actual proper all... music, musical? I've heard a few years of an MMO. Do you know? I've had one or two of these things put in these recordings. Trust me, they're not they are proper songs. Um, that does remind me though. Um, I I have a specific song I want from Dan and Romper in. Yeah, you can bug me with it later after we've done this. Yeah. Um. 
Anyway, so uh, anything else, VJ? Uh, just a um, bit of TV here and there. So uh, start actually watching uh, Ricky Gervais's Afterlife. Okay. Is that like uh, his uh, other stand-up ones, like animals and stuff? Uh, well, no, it's a it's a scripted sitcom, uh, oh, where, okay. where, which basically he is. I, I do not like Ricky Gervais. I'll be absolutely honest going into it, but I've had colleagues recommend it and say, "Oh, yeah, that's really good." And it's like, "All right, I'll give it a try." But basically, he's yeah, he's uh, he's playing a character whose wife's died and he's not taking it well, and he's being an 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 a-hole about it and it's surprisingly well written funny and heartwarming as well mm. I've admit I never there were certain things from Ricky Gervais I enjoyed but I never I'll be honest I never got into the office neither did I neither did I I only saw the Christmas special at the office and that was about it so that was, that was my scope of the thing was oh this is a this is a mockumentary this is someone called David Brent. He goes, uh, 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 and that's about it. For well, American yeah, listeners, just... this is the UK version of what we're talking about. Yes, yes. yes. But I think like that it, that was one of those things that started putting me off Ricky Gervais. Like, I would have expected more office out of him. This is the thing. I first yeah. saw some of his stand-up routines. And they, they were all right, but the more I got to know of the person Ricky Gervais, the quicker that opinion went down. Yeah. Yeah, I well, I mean, I would if you want to give him a chance, I'd give it a watch. Uh, but yeah, it's Ricky Gervais, and he's kind of marmite. Yeah, I mean, coming from you, as someone I trust, I'm more likely to at least you have a fool, look. Oh, you trust me? <laughs> <laughs> that was his plan all along. Hmm. Uh, other than that, uh, more Star Trek. So, Discovery's back. Um, Prodigy finished its first bit of run, and Star Trek Picard is season two is mere weeks away. I am spoiled right now with Star Trek. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good time to be a Trekkie. It is. Uh, it, it, it is and it isn't, because, I mean, it's. There's a lot of this is not the Star Trek I grew up with. That's true. Oh, and it's Picard back as well. Uh, Picard March. March. Okay. So there's a there's a couple more episodes of Discovery left. There's like four or five, and the last three crossover with Picard starting. Ah. Um. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if season two's uh, Picard's any good. Because season one was a little marmite as well, it had a good, it had its good bits, it had its less good bits. I felt like it started strong but lost it, it along the way. It, it kind of got lost in the middle. Uh, it had a very strong bit at the end because it did basically what Nemesis had done, nice, nicely. Um, and but the rest was kind of okay. Uh, but you can see it is coming from people who love the source material because they're, they're trying to continue all these elements from the next generation and Voyager. And apparently, out of respect, they're not touching Deep Space Nine right now. Fair. Fair. I think there was... Oh, what's his name? It's a guy who plays uh, O'Brien, Colin... Uh, Come on, Nini. That's the one. All right, he was saying he's like, he's up for doing something with a uh, O'Brien again, but uh, uh, doing O'Brien in like another in like a wolf kind of series. If it ever <laughs> changed, <laughs> they, 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 they had a lot of fun on Deep Space Nine. Oh yes, uh, I, I, I in Deep Space Nine. I, well, I mean, at one stage the show turned into oh, the writers' room apparently turned into right. We're going to beat up. Uh, we're going to put O'Brien through the ringer. What are we going to do him do to him this time? And you look at the show, and O'Brien was absolutely put through the ringer multiple oh, he was, times. He was beaten, beaten up at every possible opportunity they could. He was yeah thrown into prison. Um, how many how many times did his arm go? Uh, at least three or four times. 
Um, and I guess also somewhat more majorly, we're not even with the same O'Brien. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you've got me onto Star Trek. I'll stop now before this <laughs> turns into we had, we had this a, a, a complete. Yeah, a, 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 a complete we, had the, we, had the Star, we had the Star Trek episode, the Star Trek Hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Star Trek Power Hour. I tried putting Star Trek in it. I couldn't be allowed. Oh. oh. Spotify was not. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs>